Hey everybody, Joe Fisher here from Manscrit Brewing again. Uh, come to show you my newest toy. This monstrosity here is the Sabco Plate Pro Chiller. It's a heat exchanger. Um, if you're not familiar with this type of heat exchanger, it's called Plate Chiller. It has 33 stainless steel plates here and ports for your beer and ports for water. So cold water goes in one side, hot beer goes in the other, cold beer comes out the other end. Basically each plate has a series of gaskets and water and beer move up and down and there because of all the surface area of the plates there's a lot of contact between cold water and hot beer so it chills everything down really quickly. Um, I haven't tried it yet we're I'm heating up some water now we're going to do a test run in a little while I'm hoping that it's going to be one pass chilling. 200 degree beer goes in 70 degree beer comes out. That would be awesome. So um, I'll give you a quick tour of this. Uh, it's it's big. First of all, uh, I know this is just a chest set, but this is about the same size as the Blickman Therminator. And you can see that the plates are a lot bigger. So I'm expecting a lot more efficient cooling, a lot quicker cooling. It is very expensive. This uh, was about $685. And uh, I think you can only get it from Sabco. But the, uh, the big deal about this, the reason that I like this and I wanted to get this one, is because of all these bolts that you can see here. You can take it apart. The Therminator, the Duda Diesel, all of those homebrew um, plate chillers are brazed together. You can't take it apart. You can't see what's inside. So you have to take it and stick it in your oven to sanitize it or... You know, you can get hops clogged in there and never be able to get them out. This thing, you take these nuts off, slide the plates apart, and you can get at all the individual plates, inspect it, hose it off, whatever you have to do. Uh, a couple other neat features. It has three-quarter inch tri-clamp fittings. I use tri-clamp fittings for everything in my shop. I love them. So uh, I also got some fittings from Brewer's Hardware that will adapt the little three-quarter fitting to an inch tri-clamp which will adapt with the rest of my system and the cutest little clamps you've ever seen. So I'm, I'm gonna put some quick connects on here for my garden hose. You can see it comes with a, uh, a swivel garden hose fitting already attached here for you so I can just thread this guy on. On the other side it's supposed to have, it said it had garden hose fitting but this looks an awful lot like uh, three-quarter inch pipe to me or half inch pipe to me. But we'll make something work. And that's it. Uh, I've got some hose here for the output of the cooling water. Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is in the other room. So uh, Brewers Hardware just started offering uh, a new thing. My tri-clover to half-inch barb fittings that fit in my silicone hose here. You can see that the half inch barb fitting is has a relatively small opening. I guess that's three eighths of an inch, maybe even less. What Brewers Hardware started doing is selling fittings with a three quarter inch nipple on them. So you have a true half inch hole here. And with a little bit of heat on the hose, maybe just a little bit of sanitary uh, silicone gel, if you don't have the stuff around your brew house, get some. It's awesome. I use it for a lot of things. O-rings, forcing hoses onto fittings they don't belong on, that sort of thing. So you can, the silicone hose will stretch pretty easily onto the three-quarter inch fitting. So now you have a lower restriction. I'm going to use this on all of the input sides of my March pumps because March pumps don't like restriction on the input side. So that should... Uh, help speed my brew day up a little bit, give me a little higher flow rate on things. And that's about it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go build this. I'm going to keep heating up the water. We're going to see how long it takes to uh, chill. I think I got eight or nine gallons of water going in there. See you soon. Okay, brewers, we're back. I've got some water heating up for the test now. Uh, it turns out I was right about the fittings. They are three-quarter inch national pipe thread, not three-quarter inch garden hose fitting. 
So what I had to do is on this side, I bought a female three-quarter NPT to female garden hose so that I can put my quick disconnect on there. And on this side, female three-quarter inch NPT to male three-quarter inch um, to garden hose. So I'll show you the fittings, the connections here. This right here, this is my water hose from the wall. So that goes to the water in fitting. And that goes through here. And the water comes out here. And I've just got that going out the garage door right now. On this side, this is the work in. You can see that, carefully labeled. So this goes to my march pump. And that's taking off the bottom of my boil kettle. That's the boil kettle, that's the mash tun. And I all go down to this mess of stainless here. And then on the other side, we've got the wort out. That's a little three quarter inch triclover. And that's just gonna go up and empty into my mash tun. So what I'm gonna do is measure the temperature of the water in the boil kettle, turn the pump on, run it through the chiller, empty it into the mash tun, and then check the water temperature just to see uh, just to see what it does in one pass at full tilt boogie. I'm just going to run all the pumps wide open. I'm going to run the hose wide open just to kind of get a baseline of what everything does at full speed. All right, our test water is at 204 degrees. The pump is primed and ready. All the connections are made. Fingers are crossed. Let's give it a shot, huh? So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the element because we don't want to run the heating element dry. Something I often forget to do. Oh, let's turn the cooling water on. That would be a good place to start. All right, no leaks this time. Awesome. And pump. You can see it's running at a very, very good clip. Oh, and it's nice and cool. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's see. It looks like just about 84 degrees. So at full speed, we went from 204 to 84 without I don't know what words. That's it. That's uh, 82 degrees. That was, you know, that looked like about as fast as a marsh pump can pump. Um, so yeah, so if we run the wort a little slower, it should cool down more effectively. So we'll try that in another video for now. I think that was a pretty good first test. Thanks for joining me. One important bit that I forgot to mention is the temperature of the incoming water, in case anyone was curious. 63 and a half degrees. Alright, I have well water here, so it, even though it's, it's a million degrees outside, at least, I'm standing here under this hot lamp, I'm sweating, it's awesome, uh, but my groundwater is, uh, is only 63, 64 degrees. Hi everybody, welcome back. Joe Fisher again, Manscrip Brewing Company. We're still testing the Sabco Plate Pro Plate Chiller. This is the second run. 
I've got 204 degree water in here again. The instruction manual says that it's rated at uh, 2 gallons per minute with 60 degree input water to take 210 degree water down to 68 degrees in one pass. So I've got 64 degree input water. Uh, I've got this dialed down to about 2 gallons per minute, maybe a little bit less. You can, I'll show you what it looks like. It's still, it's still flowing really, really fast. So, with no further ado, let's give it a shot. That's what two gallons per minute looks like. And I've got probably seven eight gallons in here. So theoretically we should be done chilling in four minutes. So let's see what happens. So if you remember from our first video, when we ran it at full speed, at the March pump's full capacity, we chilled it down to 83, 84 degrees. So right now, We're already down to 68, 67, 66, 65. Sixty-three point five. We are at the exact temperature of my groundwater. Single pass. Running that fast. I don't know, that's pretty impressive. I'm happy with that. So that's it. Any questions? Put them right down in the comments. I try to reply to everyone. If I miss you, I'm sorry. Uh, you can go to the website, manscriptbrewing.com. We're recently revamped. You can send me an email, info at manscriptbrewing.com. See us on Facebook. Find us on Twitter, Manscript Brew. Always happy to talk shop and answer any questions you might have. If you have any suggestions for future videos, Bring them on and I'll see what I can do. Have a nice day and happy brewing.